Hey guys, welcome to Knock Tactical Solutions. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our AR series talking about mag slots. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this. All right, so before we get started with anything, uh, we're going to go through the safety check. Um, again, remember to always do this with an unloaded weapon, especially inside of your home. Um, I've stressed this in my other dry practice videos, and this is an absolute must. So First off, we're gonna look at the mags that I'll be using today. Uh, this one's empty, the one that was in my rifle. And the other one that I'll be using for the demonstration, also unloaded, absolutely necessary. We're also gonna make sure that our weapon is clear. Um, you can see here inside of the chamber, weapon is clear. And again, we're gonna rack it a few times just to be positive. We're also going to make sure that our weapon is on safe. So make sure that your selector switch is selected to safe. All right, so today we're going to be working on two different types of reloads. We're going to be doing a regular reload, and then we're going to be doing what's called a tack reload. Uh, regular reload is something that you're going to be using at the range um, when you're just casually shooting generally. Uh, tack reload is going to be a little bit quicker. Um, there's going to be some more parts to that reload outside of just the mag slot. So I'm gonna go through each one step by step and uh, we'll start off with the regular reload. All right, so we're gonna start off with our basic reload here. Um, this is one that you're gonna be using on the range or uh, say you are in a situation, uh, this is one that you're gonna use when you have some downtime, when there's no heat or pressure on you. So we're gonna make sure that our slide is locked back to the rear as mine is right now. We're going to shoulder our firearm. Now that we've realized that our weapon is run dry, we're going to bring our firearm up into our working space, like so. The working space is an area that you can still see downrange. You're still able to see where your target was, and your peripheral is unobstructed so that you can see any potential targets coming into your area. So we're going to bring our firearm up here so that we're still aware of what's going on around us. While our firearm is up into this area, we're going to grab our new mag and we're going to pinch it between our thumb and index finger. Now we're going to bring this up to the spent mag that is in our firearm, wrap our remaining fingers around the old mag and depress the mag release button. As we depress the mag release button, we're going to bring out the old magazine and reinsert a brand new one. You're going to take that spare mag that you just pulled out, put it back into your pouch. Now, on a standard AR platform, you're going to bring your firearm back up. Now we're going to be in a mag well hold for just a moment as we depress the slide lock. As we come up, rack the new round in, and then resume our firing position. All right. So now that we have a basic reload down, um, I hope you guys practice this several times. Now we're gonna move on to a tactical reload. Uh, this is a reload that we're gonna use when we're having a bad time. Uh, this is when we have targets engaging us currently and we are out of ammo. Um, at this point, we might not be able to draw our secondary weapon. Um, it may not be feasible. The target may be too far out to draw your secondary. So this is what we're gonna use in that situation. You're going to bring your firearm up into the firing position. We're using our C-clamp and we're going to realize that we ran dry. Our slide is locked back at this point in time. We're dry. We're going to check very quickly because in this situation, we're not counting rounds. Our mind is in a million different other places. We're not sitting here counting, all right, 28, 29, 30, time to reload. We don't know why our gun quit. We just know that it quit running. So we're going to check. We're going to go from our firing position and just look over. We're going to look to see if there's any obstruction inside of our receiver. This should only take a millisecond. This isn't going to take very long. We're just looking to see if we see brass, anything shiny in there that could be obstructing our muzzle. When we realize that there is nothing in there, we're going to bring our gun up into our working space, just like we talked about before. But this is where things get different. We're trying to get this mag out right now so that we can address 
the threat by getting another mag in. As we bring our gun up, we're going to depress our mag release. We're getting that mag out right now. And we're going to grab our new mag, flap it in, and again, depress slide release and get back into the fight. All right, I'm going to demonstrate the tactical reload slowly but deliberately so that you can see how it's supposed to work. Gun ran dry, check, working space, new mag in, back into the fight. All right, guys, I hope this video was informative on reloads when it comes to an AR. Um, especially, I want you guys to take note on the TAC reload. This is very important if you own an AR for self-defense. Um, if we own an AR for self-defense, then we need to be prepared to use it as such in a combative situation. And in a combative situation, there are times that we need to get more rounds into our gun and get back into the fight immediately. At that point, seconds count. Seconds can be a difference between life and death. So I hope that you guys take this information and that you practice it. And you practice it until you have it down fluently. So, catch you next time. Hope you have an unfair advantage based on this video. And uh, next time we're going to be talking about the bad lever. And this is something that's going to change your reload time dramatically. So, stay frosty guys. And I'll see you next time.